channel um, I'm Angelique Lattinen this is my YouTube channel so finally I decided to film my drugstore YouTube tutorial slash affordable makeup um, yeah I've been mentioning in a couple few videos that I'm gonna do a drugstore 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 but everyone's been nagging me. Where is the drugstore video? So here it is, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. I had a lot of fun doing this video. Like, I loved how the eyes turned out. I can't believe this was a drugstore look that I did. It looks amazing. I look amazing. I look bomb. Um, quick disclaimer, though. I do have longer hair. So my friend Adam... You message him, Adam Bird. He works at my mom's salon at Axiom Salon and Spa. Um, he put in this hot fusion hair extensions. So it, I'm just gonna show you guys. So it actually wraps around the real hair and he has a gun and he seals it in. Um, these are 18 inches because my hair is pretty short and he said we don't want them to be too long because it kind of looks funny. You want it to blend more. So my real hair is like about here and this is how long it is. So um, yeah, I love them. I think I look so good when I curl it. I love how it looks. Like I always curl my hair. So I usually, when my hair was short, I curled my hair with a flat iron. But now that I have extensions, I curl with the curling iron and I love how curly it is like it's just so beautiful like I look I look amazing like come on like and I'm feeling the long hair um also my boyfriend likes to pull my hair and he didn't even notice like I told him I got the hair extensions he can grab them pull them you can tie them up like this like do updos with it it's like so amazing I do have I do have the clip-in extensions from Bellamy. Um, I just find like they're kind of like a hassle to put them in every day. This, you have this every day. Um, yeah, message him or come to Axiom Salon and Spa if you want the hair extensions. They did cost a thousand dollars, but if you say you know me or you were recommended by me, he will for sure give you a discount, obviously. And he trimmed them, looked amazing. I love them he's actually gonna put some more in because i did lose a few of them like which is normal but i did order some more online for him to put in to my hair um yeah i just wanted to let you guys know because all my friends are like did your hair grow and i was like no it's the hair extensions and the real remy hair they're amazing i love them love it when i curl them like my boyfriend whenever I curled them like he was like oh my he I don't know why like he was just like you look so good your hair looks so good like this I love it I think it's like because it's kind of like a Victoria's Secret kind of hair because it's like long and wavy but I feel like amazing when I do my makeup and curl my hair I look good I just wanted to let you guys know about the hot fusions I would say like they're the most comfortable I've ever had in my hair. I've had the weave before and I did not like it like at all. And I just, the extensions are a little bit lighter than my natural hair. I am a level six, seven, but they are a little bit lighter, but it just looks like I have ombre. It blends really nicely and I love them. And I can't wait. I'm gonna get more next week, I think. Yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to mention that to you guys because these extensions are the most amazing that has ever happened to me i'm gonna have them forever and they do last up to four to six months um and then you just get them put in again like it's so easy anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video i had a lot of fun filming the drugstore slash affordable makeup i loved it like it was a lot of fun and i loved all the products in here and like i actually really enjoyed doing first impressions like showing you guys my reaction from it and i had so much fun 
So anyways, I gotta go, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. I had so much fun. If you guys want me to do any certain type of drugstore makeup, like maybe I could do like all elf makeup or maybe I could do all wet and wild. That would be fun too. That would be kind of a cool idea. Or maybe all Morphe. I don't know. Let a girl know. Anyways, gotta go, you guys. Love you so much. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, let's get started. Um, so I have a bunch of this new makeup that I bought from Elle, and I've been dying to try these primers. Um, I have the Elf Poreless Putty Primer, and then the Luminous Putty Primer. Here, so I bought a bunch of new drugstore makeup just for this YouTube tutorial. Um, I think I'm gonna use the Luminous one just because I'm really dry. Um, I wanna open this excited i did buy the poreless one on amazon but they didn't have this one on amazon they had it at my local london drugs which i'm so excited for like it looks cute this i heard this is supposed to be similar to um the tatcha one which i have not used i just didn't smell like anything so we're just gonna I'm just gonna put my finger in there and put it on my hand. Oh yeah, it's like shimmery, you guys. Cool. Okay, I'm just gonna rub it in. Oh, it feels really like moisturizing. Ooh, I love. Okay. Hey, Elf. I have to say not hating what you guys are creating. <laughs> yeah, it feels really hydrated. Oh, I love it, actually. We'll see how my makeup lasts, so we'll see. Like, and my skin is looking luminous. I feel so dry lately. I'm just gonna put a little more on the lower half of the face. Yeah, like I just, I, I think because the weather is changing and it's getting warmer here in Vancouver. So like my skin is going through a actual beating. But look at my hands, they're all shimmery. Okay, I'm not hating this. I actually really love it. So this one, we'll see how it holds, but I actually really love this one. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna spray some of this e.l.f. dewy setting spray just because I am so dry. Which, I always use this on a regular basis so I don't have the need to like do that and tell you guys like what. Yeah, this isn't a new setting spray. Like I love that setting spray so, but it's also a drugstore and affordable. I'm just gonna put some lip balm on my lip are so dry, you guys. Mm. So good. Okay, now I'm gonna use some stick foundations. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation in F4, and then I'm gonna use this Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. It has this applicator, but I never use it. Um, and this is in the shade Classic Ivory 120. I'll put everything in the description below, because I know um, when I watch YouTube videos, I wanna like know what the person's using. So I'm just gonna draw on my face. This shade is a little bit darker than the other one, but this is why I'm putting it on the outer perimeter, the outer area of my face. Okay, and then we're gonna use the Makeup Revolution one. This one's a little more creamy and hydrating. Yeah, this one's lighter. 
I do like this one. This one is cheaper than the Maybelline one. I think the Maybelline one is like maybe, I don't know, $15. This one I think is like $9. And this one is more pigmented than the other one. It just like depends what you like. I just, um, when I'm trying like drugstore makeup, I like to buy different versions to see what like suits. Uh, ooh! To see what suits my skin my skin concerns like if I'm dry or combination that day yeah oh my god I forgot to clean my sponge I'll be right back sponge and just wring it through super excited to do this video because I've been like um, talking about doing a drugstore slash affordable makeup for a while because everyone's been getting mad at me. Where is the drugstore video? But here it is. I finally had time to film for you guys. Now I'm gonna go in with the Milani Conceal and Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I have used this before. I love it. I know a lot of YouTubers love it. Besides me, it's amazing. So I'm just gonna take some and squirt. Actually, this bottle's low, so I have to take um, it from the cap here because I don't know the squirter is not working for some reason that's a lot but whatever I'm just going to take that much and then just spray and pat that into the skin that's a lot but it'll blend out And this is the shade 00 Light Natural. Yeah, I bought this one at Shoppers. They do have Milani Cosmetics at Shoppers, which I love. I used to go um, buy it online, but that's a lot of work for me personally. Yeah, it's, it's blending out nicely. Yeah, this, I like love this foundation. It feels so high end, like it does. Like, and it's really like high coverage, which I'm all about that high coverage, you know? And then we're just gonna do the other side. Like that. Like it's just blending so nicely, you guys. Yeah, like it's just, it's looking real good. Just do the forehead. Like that. I'm just like, I love this concealer, I'm not concealer, foundation so much for a drugstore. It just like makes my skin look good. Like it's very similar to the Too Faced one, which I always use. Mm -hmm. I like to put it on my lips too, just to hydrate them. Okay. That's looking, it's looking good. Down to the neck. I look a little pale, but I think just because I have only foundation on. Okay, now we're gonna use. Um, I also just bought this from the store the other day. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Light Peach. I have used the other one. I forget what it's called. I do have the other one. This is the 16 hour camel concealer, but this is the hydrating one. And I really wanted to try this for you guys on camera because I know it just came out a while ago. And I did hear good reviews, but this is my review. And I'm going to be completely honest. Let's be real. I've actually never reviewed stuff on my channel before, so that's a first. This is what the packaging looks like. Super cute, love the white. 
So this is supposed to be hydrating. I oh, love the applicator. Super cute. So we're just gonna apply that onto the skin. Like that. Perfect. I don't know why, but I just love when concealers has the big applicator, just because it's like easy to apply all over your face. Go upper lip, chin. And you guys know I love to put concealer here. It just makes it look more lifted. I don't want to get too light of a color because I find with like drugstore concealers, they end up being lighter than usually, than usual, not usually. Um, and I find it's like hard to blend. I'll always mix it with other concealers. That's just my opinion, but also that's my opinion sometimes doesn't matter. I guess blend that out. I'm just going to spray the tip part and just blend that out. It's like blending really easily, which what I like in a concealer. I hate when concealers like you can't blend them out properly. Yeah, and it feels like not really dry. When I applied it, it seemed like super hydrating too. Okay, blend that out. Okay. And blend the middle of the face. And the chin. Now I'm gonna use um to set the entire face. I love to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 15 Light. This is a little bit darker than my skin, but this is the only color I have. So I'm just gonna use that. I believe this is only like $15. It's not super expensive, which is affordable. So I'm just gonna dip that into the powder. It is a little bit dark, but we'll blend it out, you'll see. So you see, I'll just blend that out. It's a little bit darker than my shade of skin, my shade of skin, my natural color, but it'll blend out once we like start applying the rest of the face, trust me. So at first I was like, whoa. I just go like that. Yeah, it does look dark, but we'll blend it out. You'll see. And it'll turn out looking good. This. 
Ta-da! It's looking a little blotchy on this side. We'll blend that out though. But I do love this powder. It stays all day long. Like my skin does not move. Okay, now we're gonna do some eyebrows. And I think I'm gonna use um, this. I'm using a lot of Maybelline today. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in 310 Medium Brown. The only thing, I don't like the spoolie. It's a little like stubby guy. I don't like stubs. Um, but I like the brow product. It is similar to the Anastasia one. Not the same, but if you want to dupe for Anastasia, this is a good one to use. So I'm just going to brush up like this and then just draw it in. What the fuck is that? Like that and then just brush down. Just a light, subtle contour. Perfect. Okay. And now we're going to use, we're going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Normal to Dry Powder in the shade 355 Coconut. This is a powder, but I use it as a bronzer and I love it. We're just going to use a new brush. I'm going to use this Morphe M527 brush, which I love this brush. I like um, goat hair to apply bronzer. I find it like just makes it, you know, more of a seamless finish. And it gives you that really like bronzy glow. Just like that. Okay. so we know where we are on our face. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade. This is 10 Fair Light. I use this one for baking. And then the other one, I usually set my face with it. So we're just gonna take this side of the sponge. We're just gonna carve that out. like this. This powder is pigmented, which I love it as a drugstore um, dupe. It kind of reminds me of the Laura Mercier because that one is kind of hard to rub off, I find. It's super dry too, but I find this like powder makes a, my bakage last all day long. Like nothing's going to get through that. Like that. I'm just gonna do a little more on this side. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I love this palette and it is affordable, let's be real. Okay. I'm going to use this Morphe R37 brush and I'm going to go in with, mm, what color do I want to go in with? I'm going to go in with Silk Cream. I do have pan on that one. Must say it's very loved. Very loved. So I'm just going to swirl a little bit and have that much. I'm just going to tap it off and just apply on the eyelid just like that
bake it. John, we're gonna use that same powder we used to bake the bottom half of the face, but we're just gonna put it on my under eye, like so. It kind of has a yellow undertone, which is good to know. I get that. Do the nose like that. Perfect. Okay. Now we're gonna continue with that same brush and that same um, silk cream color it off and we're just gonna bring it out a little bit more into the eye here and we want that cat eye look I do this in every single video so I feel like I don't have to go too in depth to explain but once we take that powder off it's gonna have that really nice eye eye look like that cat eye look that we all love to look lifted I'm going to do the other eye. Like that in the outer corner there. It's going to look really pretty. Okay, now for the second shade, I'm going to go in the second transition color. I want this eye look to be more warm. So I'm going to go in with MFEO. It's like a peachy transition shade. It's a little bit darker and more peachy than the first one, which is why I love it. I find when you use more than one transition shade, I find like your eyeshadow just ties together it looks more blended if you just add one color and some makeup artists feel like just adding a few shades or bronzer is what makes it look blended but to be honest i feel like i don't have time to sit there all day to blend out one eyeshadow so i'll go in with more than one and i find it just blends a lot better so if you guys are wondering why your eyeshadow's not blending, I suggest maybe use a similar color just to blend it out. Always helps. Now that that color is no more on the brush, I'm just gonna bring it out and make it more blended. No one wants harsh lines, you know? Okay, now we're gonna go in with our third color and we're gonna go in with Pukey. I always love to use this as my third eyeshadow just to like give that nice ombre sunset look. And we're still using the same brush as before. Tap that off and we're just gonna go lower into the crease, like right in the pocket there. Yeah, perfect. And it's just gonna give you that like nice caramel eye look. It's just gonna add some more warmth into the eye. And just bring that out. I got like super small eyelids, so. Which is why I like always like to bring out my eyeshadow higher, just because it gives you more dimension to your eye. Honestly, like I've never liked my eyes. I think they're way too small, but I definitely have my mom's eyes. She has like no eyelids, so <laughs> she'll probably kill me for saying that, but whatever. And just go like that. Okay, now we're gonna change our brush. I'm going to use this blending brush. This is the JH33. We're going to go in with our fourth color. I'm going to go in with a buns right here. It's like a really rosy kind of color. It's not brown, but it's like lighter than brown. We don't want this eye look to be too, too dark. Okay, so we're just going to tap that in the outer corner like that. We're just gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and blend that out. 
I'm gonna dip again. Tap, 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 tap. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Till it's all blended out. Okay, perfect. And do the other eye. Perfect. And now we're going to do shimmer. Okay, right, we're gonna go in with the MAC 242 brush. Um, we're gonna go in with a shimmer. I'm gonna use Firework and Queen. I'm gonna blend those two together. So Firework is a little too copper and Queen is a little too gold. And I love when I have a big palette in front of me, I can mix. And then we're just gonna spray that with some setting spray just to make it like really wet and glittery. And we're just gonna apply that on the eye. Take that bakage goodbye. I'm gonna remove that powder. Like, look at that powder. Look at that staying powder. St and that powder has staying power. Like, it does no joke. I do really like this powder though. Like, it just. Like it, look at my skin, looks amazing, looks amazing. Okay, now we're just gonna spray some setting spray on that sponge. I'm just gonna pat and just take any crepiness from that powder, cause that could dry anyone out, especially me since I'm so dry. Just like that. Spray it right in my mouth. Like that. Perfect. Oh, I love this powder so much. Okay, on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna use the shade Pukey. Oops. And just on this JH37 brush. Okay, and then we're gonna take this Morphe M423 brush. It's just a definer brush. And we're actually gonna go in with, um, you know what, I'm gonna do eyeliner first. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm gonna use this ColourPop. This is um, this ColourPop cream gel color. It's in the shade Best O. It's like a purpley kind of shade. And I'm just gonna use the M443, it's just a liner brush, and I'm just gonna apply that all over the lash line. This is a pr really pretty liner. Okay, and then, I'm gonna go in with the shade Frame from the Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette. This is really pretty. And then I'm using the M423 Define. You can use any definer brush, but this is just the one I'm using. So. Brush, 
much, but this is just the one I'm using. So. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna blend that harsh line out with the shade Buns again with just a pencil brush and I'm using the JH38. And then we're gonna go in with that with this Kylie brush. It's like this really fat goat hair brush. And we're just gonna go in with that same color buns, and we're just gonna blow out that lower lash line. Okay, now is for the fun part. I wanted to um, use these pixie glitter. What are these? Liquid fairy lights? They're like liquid eyeshadow. It is a dupe for Stila. I do like the Stila one, but I wanted to use these ones. And I also am gonna use this Morphe, what is this, metallic eyeshadow, just to add some more glitter to that. I think it'll be really fun. Um, yeah, I usually always add these ones if I use any glitter ones, and I love this color. This one's called Flare. I did get this one in the Christmas collection from last year. I don't know if they still have it, but you guys should check them out. They're amazing. So I'm just going to apply that on the eyelid like that. Ooh. Like that, that's so pretty, you guys. Like, ooh, to the other eye. Ooh, yes. And then just let that dry for a few seconds and don't look up because it'll touch my eyelid and it'll ruin my makeup. So we're gonna use the Pixie by Petra Liquid Fairy Lights in Sunray. This is a really pretty gold, which I'm so excited to use. I think these are like 20 bucks. I do have more than one color. I have used them before. They're amazing. So. Like that. I like to add the Morphe one um, as a base. I just find it makes the Pixie one show more, you know? Like, look at that. Oh, so pretty. And I'll take that flat brush and just blend it out. Blend it out, yeah. I'm in love. Okay. Use some intoxicating um, double lift lashes from Flutter. These are my favorite lashes of all time. Just like that. We're almost done, you guys. So pretty. Yeah, I like this powder because it's like a subtle glow. And what's funny, this isn't actually a bronzer powder. It's just a regular face powder for darker skins. But I love using those powders as bronzers. Like the MAC Skin Finish, the one um, in the color um, Give Me Sun that it's actually um, a face powder. It's not a bronzer really, which is also one of my favorite bronzers. Okay, now we're gonna go in with blush. I'm gonna use um, 
I got these two blushes um, from e.l.f. on Amazon. I think I'm gonna use, this is more a mauvey color. This is more peach. I think the peach color is gonna complement this eye look really well. So this is a primer infused blush and this one, the shade is called Always Cheeky. Such a pretty color. I'm just gonna open that up. I didn't even open it because I wanted to use this on camera. Um, for you guys. Only thing I don't like about the packaging, like the shade color, it's not visible. Like it's in this little tiny writing. Like what's up with that? It's like, I need a magnifying glass to see, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. This is actually a really pretty color really pretty cheeky shade so for the brush i'm gonna use morphe times jaclyn hill the gh06 which is one of my favorite brushes ever for blush we're just gonna pop that in i have to say there's a lot of kickback a lot of fallout kickback like i know it's makeup but i find a lot of people don't like that i don't care because i mean makeup is makeup and as long as the product works i could care less about that but if you don't like that, don't get this, just saying. So just tap that off and just apply this onto the cheek. Just like that. AF. Okay. Um. I'm gonna use one of these e.l.f. new highlighters, which I'm really excited for. So I think this is the darkest one, the more of the goldy shade, and this is the more champagne one. I think I'm gonna use the champagne one. So these are the e.l.f. metallic flare highlighters, and this is in white gold. So I did look at these online. Um, they look really pretty, so excited to try it. How do you open the stupid box? Okay. Throw that out. Love it. Love the packaging. It's really sleek, simple. Okay. I just got my nails done last week, so I'm just using tweezers to open it because it's kind of hard to open. We're just going to use the same highlighter brush I was using earlier. And we're just going to I like the pattern of it too, it's really cute. Let's actually do a finger swatch. Like that's it, it's really pretty. Seems like, a, I don't know. They are metallic, but I find you have to build them up, which I don't really like. I kind of like to apply a highlighter and it's beaming, but um, I know e.l.f. is known for having like a film on their highlighter. And you kind of you kind of have to rub it out, which I find annoying. Kylie is like that too. So like her first um, highlighter she came out with. A lot of people, there was a lot of controversy because they couldn't like find the pigment, but you just gotta take that first layer off. But it is buildable, which I like. So yeah, see that's better than that side. Yeah, I do like it. Yeah, but if you do, it just takes a little bit of time to build it up, that's all. Good to know. Just like that. But the pigment is there. It just takes a little time to build. I mean, I don't care about that stuff like that, but I know a lot of other people do. And I find like women or men or trannies or whatever are so picky with makeup these days. Like if something doesn't work, I mean, 
I'm guilty of it too. I'm so picky with makeup, but I just find like if we're that picky in general, we're never gonna find something we like. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know. I'm just like getting deep now. It's true, like I find like, you know, even if a girl's walking on the street, I was like, oh, I don't like her eyeliner, which is kind of mean, but we're just so picky in general. And I find like on Instagram and stuff, if you don't tune your face right, people judge you. I just find, you know, people need to judge less. You know, this world is so hard as it is. You don't want it to make it even harder for other people. Anyways, I do like the highlighter. It is buildable. Just keep in mind, the beam is not there right away. Just say, but really pretty. Love the name, white gold. Okay, now we're gonna move on to lips. And I'm just gonna apply some lip balm. I'm just using the Sol de Janeiro. This isn't affordable, but I don't have affordable lip balm on me so don't come for me guys okay i'm loving this eye look that looks really pretty okay i'm gonna rub that out and then just take the sponge and just pat away okay i think i'm gonna use this morphe lip liner in flute Foolish, I can't talk today for some reason. Foolish, it's like a really rosy pink, which I love. And this is $3, so it is affordable. Can't afford $3, I don't know, you need a job, honey. Okay, just gonna apply that on my lips. really pretty lip color okay now we're gonna use i think i'm gonna use this milani um lipstick what is this color statement matte lipstick in the shade 60 and it's called matte innocence this is a really pretty lipstick i love it smells really good too Oh, that's really pretty. It's kind of like a rosy pink. Okay, and then I got these e.l.f. lipsticks off Amazon. They're the new shades. These are the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. They are my favorite lip gloss. That's drugstore, because it has that plumping effect. It just makes your lips bigger. Like, I need bigger lips. I'm gonna use the lighter shade out of um, the ones that I got. So this is the shade Mocha Twist. And this one's praline, but this one's darker. So I think this will look pretty with this lip color. And I wanted to use a new lip gloss today for you guys. I have other ones that are lighter, but I just want to use this color because it's new. And oh, let's be real, I love using new cosmetics. Oh yeah, it's really pretty. Hmm such a pretty color okay love the color it's really like light and pretty okay and then we're just gonna spray the face again with some setting spray just like let it don't open my eyes yet because I want to let the setting spray cool off before I open my eyes. I do kind of like have small eyelids and I find when I open my eyes when they're wet, they'll like hit my upper lid. I, they kind of like hooded eyes, but I don't have hooded eyes just because they're so small. I hate it. That's why like I always do my eyeliner last and I did the glitter last because I didn't want to actually do anything to harm that. Okay, I'm just gonna use some brow gel really quickly. And that's about it. 
and we'll be done with the video, you guys. Have it, you guys. Um, that's my drugstore YouTube um, video. Um, I actually really loved a lot of the products that I used. Some of the stuff was new. Some of the stuff I've already used before. Like I love this e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. It's actually really hydrating and it's not sticky or tacky. And I think it like really hydrated my skin, which I love. And I love that they have a dewy one. Um, I will use the poreless one in another video, I think, but this, like the luminous, it made my skin really dewy and soft. And I find with a lot of shimmering products, it kind of like ages you, kind of like maybe too shimmery, but this is just like the right glow. Like you can even see like the little specks. Love this. I think this was like only $9. And it's like a pretty good size. Like you can see, I used a little bit. Like it's a good size. Like it's gonna give you a glow. Um, the blush that I used, this peachy one, I did like it. Um, but if you like a more pigmented blush, like the Makeup Forever ones are really pigmented. I've used those before, which I really like. I do like this, but I find you just have to build at it, which I know a lot of people don't like, but I did love the end result of it. It was really beautiful. Another one I also loved, I loved the highlight. I did use the ColourPop underneath, but I did love this highlight. But I think a lot of people won't like it because it does, again, take a lot of time to build and a lot of people don't like that. Um, it is a really pretty color though once you do get that build up. And I know e.l.f. blushes are known for like having a layer on top, which it's not, you kind of have to remove it just like keep playing with it um also kylie's famous for those on her highlighters but that's not a big deal to me like that's like if you use makeup like those are things that you would already know like myself i would know that i have used their um what is it these these highlighters these are like the what is this so this is a highlighter from e.l.f. Um, yeah, I had to take the first layer off. I think this is the, I don't even want to say the wrong thing, but I think this is like the baked highlighter that they have. I do like this formula and it's more beaming than this one. This one, you just have to build a little bit more, but I do love both of them. And if you're looking for affordable highlighter, I think this is like eight, $9, like, like, having a glow for eight, nine dollars. That's nothing to complain about. And I find women or anyone that wears makeup, I find like if something doesn't like pop right away, people do a bad review. And I always give brands benefit of the doubt. Like, you know, makeup, you know, you gotta build it sometimes, which, and a lot of people do like that, I find, because, you know, they can like, intensify it as they wish or as they go which is fine it's not a problem for me i did love the color though like look at my cheek once i got it to highlight and beam on my face it was beautiful so love that and i definitely want to try the other colors i did get these two other colors as well what is this one called? This one's 24 gold, 24 K gold and rose gold. I'm excited to try those. Maybe I'll do that in my next video. And then I also loved the plumping lip glosses. I did use Mocha Twist. I love how glossy my lips are. It is a plumping gloss. So it does have that plumping, like tingly feeling, which I loved. And I have used their other glosses before. Like I have, this one, which I love, it's the Champagne Glam one. It's sparkly and it's so beautiful, you guys. So I love e.l.f. glosses, like the plumping ones. It's beautiful and I have every color, so. And I am wanting to try the Praline one, which is like just a darker shade. Kind of reminds me of, um, from Anastasia Fudge a little bit. So if you want to do for that, but loved the glosses 
yeah so that's it you guys i actually loved everything in this video i don't think i had anything to complain about a lot of the stuff i already have and used before so i know you guys want to know my approval and my opinion of it loved everything in this video a lot of the stuff wasn't like great but overall i loved all of this stuff so anyways i gotta go i just cleaned my house because my boyfriend is coming over i gotta like make my bed get ready you know i already did my hair and put earrings so hopefully he loves how i look today um that's it you guys thanks for watching i hope you guys love this drugstore slash um affordable makeup tutorial if you guys want more drugstore um makeup tutorials i know drugstore right now is a huge thing like everyone's into the drugstore makeup and i notice a lot of drugstore brands are coming out with more and more better stuff so just let me know like just inbox me whatever message me on instagram message me through email whatever i have all my info in the description box if you want to know more about drugstore or like other types of videos let me know i know a lot of the clients um at the salon i work at they've been giving me some ideas like a lot of people have been asking me to do like a contour highlight video if you guys want to want me to do that i would of course do that um but i don't know i feel like it would be boring because i kind of do that in all my videos anyways but if you want more like crazy looks i can do that too anyways i gotta go like because i gotta get ready before my man comes over anyways thanks you guys until next time